What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing showcasing Regulation G Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet, and today we are using one of the best Sword and Shield Pokemon ever, Zacian. Now, Zacian took over the Sword and Shield meta with its amazing attack stat, amazing speed, and its signature move, Behemoth Blade. Now, in today's video, we're going to see how it pairs up in Scarlet and Violet. Hopefully, have some fun with this one. Hopefully, grab some wins and showcase this Pokemon to its fullest potential. But Zacian over here has Interpret Sword and the Rust Sword as item and ability, giving it a plus one attack boost when it hops onto the field and changing it into its crown form. It also has Iron Head, which I believe will change into Behemoth Blade. Then it's got Play Rough, Quick Attack for first turn priority, and last but not least, it is Rock and Protect. Yeah, I love Protect in double battles. Other Pokemon on today's team feature Shen Pao. Now Shen Pao is going to be able to pair up next to Zacian, giving it an even bigger attack boost, making it do even more damage. We got Gouging Fire as well, with Heat Crash, Breaking Swipe, How, and Burning Bulwark. And furthermore, we got another physical attacker with Ogre Pond, with Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, Follow Me, Spiky Shield. Our final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Double Genie. We got Landorus, we got Tornadus. Obviously, Landorus is going to be great on the special attacking side with Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Substitute, and Protect, Sheer Force, and Life Orb. And then Tornadus is going to be great on the support side with Prankster, the Rocky Helmet, and a great move set of Bleak Wind Storm, Icy Wind, Tailwind, and last but not least, it has Protect. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? The rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into a first match showcasing Zacian in Regulation G. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Chwarzard. Thank you so much for making this team in a rental code. If you guys want to check out the team more in depth, we will have the Pokeface down in the description below. But we're going up against a Lunala team here in match number one with Ting Lu, Clefable, Incineroar, and on top of that, they got Rillaboom and Ogre. Double Grass Pokemon. They might be both Rock and Grassy Guy. But Incineroar is going to be a Pokemon that I believe they might lead here. So I'm honestly just going to go into our special attacker alongside with our support Pokemon. So in the back end, we can go Zacian, top tier Pokemon with amazing stats. And furthermore, we can go into Shen Pao, which I really like. So Incineroar is going to be our really only problem here. So that's why I'm leading something different and bringing Zacian in the back. End. So hopefully we can kind of just deal with Incineroar, get rid of it, not have to worry about that. And then go Zacian, Shen Pao in the back end, have them clean up the match and pretty much win us from there. So let's see how we do. I am scared of Lunala. I am scared of Lunala. Lunala is just such a good Pokemon. Very bulky as well. And it does learn Meteor Beam. So it could be Rock and Power Herb and Meteor Beam. But they're going to go end up going into Incineroar alongside with Ting Lu. No big deal here. I might just end up protecting our Landorus. And they might end up hard swapping in Cinema, which could be a little bit of a problem. Could be a tad bit of a problem, but you know what? I might just go for a substitute. You know what? If we could pull off a substitute if they're going to swap, that could be pretty good for us. And we're just going to throw a Bleak Wind Storm because we already outspeed these guys. So I'm cool with that. Who knows? In Cinema, might just hard swap. And now he's just going to fake out. So I could have protected, but who cares? I'll take a little bit of damage. No big deal. No big deal. Bleak Wind Storm's going to fly. Who's dodging that? King Lu ends up dodging it. We end up chunk it up a little bit damage onto it instantly. So Ruination's also going to fly through here. Probably should have protected. And I think from here we just attack the Incineroar at this point, right? Earth Power. Go into a Tailwind. Let's get this set up. We're going to go into an Icy Wind. I think Icy Wind will be a little bit better here. Nope, he's just going to end up withdrawing Incineroar. So who you got cooking here? Who are you going into? Which Pokemon? You're going to go in the Rillaboom. Smart play. We do have Icy Wind flying, which is good. I can end up just protecting my Lando. Next turn, and kind of going from there. So Earth Power, I'm going to do a little bit of damage. Icy Wind going to fly through here, slow him down a little bit. And I'm just worried about that in Cinema, right? Cinema is just a big time problem. It's just a big time problem, let's be honest here. Ruination going to fly here, it's going to deal some damage into this slow. So he could end up faking me out again if he wants to. I think from here we're just going to rock another Bleak Wind Storm, and we're just going to protect our, our Lando here. Get back some HP as well. So, Bleak Wind Storm going to fly. I should have probably tried to set up a substitute last turn, which would have been real nice. But this time, I choose to protect. They're going to go into Fake Out into this line. Our opponent's just outplaying us right now. He's just outplaying us. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. He's just outplaying us at this point. Ruination going to fly, and we're going to block it. All right, so cool. We could rip another Bleak Wind Storm. Probably my best bet. And do I rip another Earth Power? Do I rip a Sludge Bomb here? What's my play? What's my play? I think I'm just going to double down this slot. 
think I'm just gonna double down this slot. I think we're fine with this turn. I think Tornadus, I think I think we're fine. If you want to swap to Incineroar, that's totally fine. We're throwing a, a what's called in that slot. An Earth Power. So let's see, is that Incineroar? Show me it's Incineroar. Show me it's Incineroar. It is Incineroar. So that's pretty good for us. We are going Earth Power into this slot rather than Sludge Bomb. And that's a good call for us. Great call for us. Can we KO? Can we KO? We do KO. That's massive. Because now I don't have to worry about Incineroar. Nice big time read for us going into an Earth Power in that slot. Just in case you want to swap. I think Windstorm's going to fly here. And I'm hoping I can get one more turn with Tornadus. Just to pop that tail. Wind. But I don't think we are. Nope. We're going to end up dying there. That's not that big of a deal. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. I can now bring out Zacian. Or do I bring out Shen Pao? I kind of like Zacian here. I kind of like Zacian. Yeah, I'm going to go right into Zacian. Because they're going to fake out Zacian. They're going to go back into Rollboom. They're going to fake out Zacian. And we're just going to play it from there. So I bring out the boy. He looks so good. He looks so good. And Rollboom comes back out onto the field. So I get that free plus one attack boost. He's looking amazing. So from here, I'm just going to throw a Sludge Bomb into this slot. Um, I do a Flying Terror, but I'm just going to protect my Zacian right now. I think that's got to be my play. You could end up terrestrializing the Rillaboom here. You could fake out my Landris, making the read here that I am going to protect. But hopefully you just fake out the Zacian. But you don't. They've been, they've been hitting me with fake outs all day today. Fake outs are just going crazy. I protect, they hit the other guy. But they end up just going in to stop and catch him. So from here, we can now start attacking. And we got some speed cooking. Thing is, I don't know if Grassy Guy can KO. Grassy Guy might be able to KO. But I do have my boy in the back end, Shen Pao. So I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to go into probably just a play rough here. Try to look to KO the Ting Lu. I'm with it all day. So Terrors haven't popped in. They end up going for Grassy Guy, which does KO. Not that big of a deal, though. Because if I can just land this play rough, Ting Lu probably dies out here. Zacian hits like an absolute truck, and we do end up landing it, and we dump on it. So now, I get Shen Pao, Zacian on field, just as I want it to, right? This is exactly what I wanted. I want to get rid of Incineroar, I want to get Zacian and Shen Pao on the field, and that's exactly what we did. So we should be sitting in a pretty solid position here, right? I do have Flying Tower rocking with Zacian, and the Grass Terrain does end, so that works perfectly. So they didn't terrestrialize yet. We still have Terra as well. We have Focus Sash on Shen Pao. Is Zacian ready to hit like a truck? He's ready to hit like a truck. They go into their final Pokemon. It is going to be Lunala. So Lunala coming out here probably has a Meteor Beam. I do have Ghost Terra here. Um, I think we just maybe double down on Robum here with Behemoth Blade. Hmm. You know, we're just going to Behemoth Blade this slot down. Because again, we should have speed. I mean, you could have Meteor Beam. I think your best bet would be to just like double down into would be double down into uh Shen Pao and terrestrialize your room. But I think there's no good spot for us to terrestrialize right now. I like our typings, right? I like the ice typing here. I like it better than the ghost, let's be honest here. And I like the steel and fairy rather than the flying. The steel and fairy is just a solid defensive type, but they are gonna end up terrestrializing Wilbur into fire. So fire's gonna come out here. That's a little tough, especially if they're doubling down into Shen Pao. They could have high horsepower, which could be a little bit of a problem. And Ice Spinner going to come across here. And how much damage is he going to do? Minimal damage. The Behemoth Blade's also going to fly. It's plus one next to Shen Pao. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. And it does half damage, which is actually a lot onto Lunala. And Lunala actually goes for a Calm Mind, which is good for me. Because another Behemoth Blade KOs. Another Behemoth Blade KOs, and he's going to go for a U-turn here, which is going to do a decent amount of damage, but I'd Focus Ash regardless. So now we're sitting in this position where I could just Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch probably KOs, right? But I know Behemoth Blade will, so you know what? We're going to go Sucker Punch into this slot, and I'm just going to go for another Behemoth Blade. That's my play. He's going to end up protecting me. No, that's fine. That's cool by me. That's fine by me. Sucker Punch now going to fly. Can this KO you? almost does it almost does uh oh so he's probably gonna ko my shen pao now this turns into a 2v1 situation and no you go wood hammer which we should soak yeah no terrain okay that pretty much just won us the match right yeah you're gonna take recoil cool so instead of taking out shen pao they opt to go for zassian and that puts us in a perfect position for shen pao and zassian to clean this one up so i'm just gonna go rip another behemoth blade i could go for sucker punch if i want to but i'd rather see behemoth blade actually go 
So hopefully they don't they don't cancel. Let's see. Let's see. But Sassy can thrive now here in match number one. Ice Spinner gonna fly here. It's not gonna KO. It shouldn't KO. Beautiful. And we get to see Behemoth Blade go one last time. This move looks so dope. It looks so dope. So there it is. Zassian finishing off match number one. We're thriving with it. We're sitting one now. Let's go hop to our second match. Use it a little bit more. Time to go back to back. We're hopping into our second match and we're going up against a mere ride on team. So this one actually going to be a little bit of a problem considering we have no way of terrain control. We could actually break terrain with Shen Pao. So honestly, I might just go Shen Pao alongside with Tornadus. I kind of like that. Bring Zassian in the back end and then last but not least. Honestly, Landris works pretty well here. It does work pretty well. Or I could go Gouging Fire. Who would be a little bit better? Gouging Fire is pretty good. It's pretty good. You got Breaking Swipe, you got Heat Crash. I like the typing of this Pokemon more so than anything. Um, huh. I do like Landris' move for it. But we're going to need speed for it. And honestly, I have Tornadus out here. So speed shouldn't be that big of a problem. So hopefully they lead the Mi Ride on. Hopefully we can just pop Tailwind, Ice Spinner, take out the terrain. And then kind of start getting after it that way. That's my plan. That is my plan. So we'll see. We'll see what they want to do. Because again, I believe they're going to potentially lead that. They could honestly go like Iron Bundle and Icy Wind at the same time. And then that can get a little tough. But they could go Fake Out User as well. And if they do go Fake Out User, we're just going to protect Shen Pao. Quite smart. Okay, let's see what they end up doing. Let's see. But Miraidon going to be top tier in Regulation G. So anytime I'm going up against this Pokemon, I'm always scared of it, right? Especially with a team that doesn't have terrain control. But if I do have anybody with terrain, I would always bring him up against me right on. Just such a strong Pokemon. You can't let that thing sit in the electric train for too long. It's OP. It's OP. Because on top of that, electric train stops spores. So Moongus, pretty much dead next to me right on. It doesn't do much. But me right on and Iron Hands comes out here. They lead the fake out user alongside with the terrain center. So I'm just going to protect Shen Pao. I am going to try to pop the tailwind. Um, I think mm, if they fake out... We're going to have to have them fake out the Shen Pao. Because if they fake out our Tornadus, then it's a little bit of a problem. We have a little problem on our hands. So I'm just going to protect them. I'm going to hope that they fake them out. Um, I do have Dark, not Ghost here. I was going to go Ghost Terror type in that case. And honestly, let's just let's just do this. Let's just do this. Let's just use our Terror type onto Shen Pao, honestly. And just go Ice Spin. Let's just do that. And then just go for a Tailwind. Yeah, because that allows us to bypass the fake out. allows us to pretty much automatically get rid of this terrain. I'm cool with that. I think that's actually a lot better than me just hoping that they don't fake out the Shen Pao, right? Or hoping, yeah, that they don't fake out the Tornados. So yeah, this is a little bit better of a play for us here. Pop a nice little Ghost Terror. Just bypassing any fake out problems and trying to destroy terrain right here, right now. The fake out is going into the slot and everything's working perfect. It's working so good. Tailwind flying. I'm going to say bye-bye to this terrain. Get rid of it. Ice Spinner going to come across here. And it might not even KO me right on. It does not. And what are you going for? What are you going for me right on? What are you going for? You're going to go for a Volt Switch pivot. And this might KO me, right? It does. So that's actually really good for him. He's going to pivot out. But honestly, that's fine. I got off Tailwind. Now I can bring out the Zass. The Zacian. Whatever you call it. Zacian, Zacian. I always had trouble pronouncing it. Not trouble, but I just don't know which one's right. I think it's Zacian, but I call it Zacian. Not that big of a deal. But I get to bring out my Zacian, and they're going to go in the Flutterman. We get first reads at what they're going to bring. And it's Flutterman. Flutter, Flutter comes out here. So now Flutterman comes out here. Um, Booster Energy's going to pop for some special attack. And this is where we bring out this little boy. I could Behemoth Blade that slot. Um, I might want to just Behemoth Blade that slot. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. It's probably a Fairy Terra. Um, hmm. And honestly, let's just Ice Spinner this slot and do as much damage as we can. I could honestly go for a Play Rough and read a Protect, which wouldn't be bad, but I'm just going to go Behemoth Blade. I'm just going to play it simple. Not going to overthink, because they could end up swapping back into me right on. At that point, we're going to take out Terrain, and we're going to KO me right on. So we'll see. We'll see. And Fluttermane does end up protecting. Should have went for the play rough. Should have went for the play rough, but it's all good. Ice Spin is going to fly here. I wonder what he's going to do here, because Zassian should be able to soak up whatever they have to offer here, right? Then he's going to get blocked. And what you got cooking? Clo or not close combat. Drain Punch, maybe? Thunder Punch. Into this one. That's fine. 
That's fine. So I feel as we should maybe do the same thing. Actually, let's just protect you. Let's just protect you and just go for Behemoth Blade this slot. Because who could you swap into? If Miraidon sw swaps in, it's dead. If Iron Bundle swaps in, it's dead. If Chiyu swaps in, it probably soaks it, but we get off some big damage at the same time. So I'm just going to stick with this Behemoth Blade. I'm just going to stick with it. If it's Chiyu, Chiyu's kind of not that bulky, right? It's a little goldfish. We're going to hit it with a nice big time blade plus one on Zacian. And we're just going to protect our, our uh, Shen Pao. Which is good for us. Which is really good for us. So now they're sitting in a weird position where they don't really know what to do because probably Fluttermane's terror type would be fairy. But they're going to end up hard swapping. And they're going to go into the iron bundle. Like I said, not a good idea. Unless you're Sash, that actually gives them another turn, but I can just quick attack after that. So I'm going to end up protecting the Shen Pao, which is nice, which is beautiful. And Behemoth Blade's going to fly. So now we know all their Pokemon. This thing's dead. It's Sash. It's a Sash little boy, but I can quick attack that next turn if I want to. I can Sucker Punch it as well. Thunder Punch going to fly into this slot and protecting Shen Pao. Not a good call, but of course you get the para. Of course you get the power. So from here, I'm just gonna go Sucker Punch to take out Bundle if he wants to attack. And I'm gonna try to get rid of this Iron Hands here. I'm gonna try to get rid of Iron Hands. Of course you get a Paralyzed with Thunder Punch. Of course you get the Paralyzed. Okay. So Shen Pao looking to KO this Iron Bundle if it attacks. I think it might just protect him with that last turn of Tailwind, which is not a bad idea. But Zacian should still outspeed this uh, Iron Hands. Play rough. When it lands, hopefully it lands. I know its accuracy is at like 90. If it misses, we're going to have a problem. But it should just KO this this Iron Hands. Unless we're paralyzed. Oh, no. Oh, no. I feel like we're going to be paralyzed. I feel it. I feel it. Please, no. Cool. I love you, Zacian. Player off coming out here. Bye-bye, Iron Hands. So now, they have a chance to go into Fluttermane. Tailwind's going to end. And... The Fluttermane is only boosted on special attack with boost energy. But they might just go back into me ride on here and get that quirk drive boost. Slight issue. And honestly, double first turn priority moves probably the best bet. Quick attack. If they go into me ride on, yeah, quick attack and sucker punch. Hands down are best plays. Hands down. So we'll see who they want to bring out here. I think me ride on has to come out here. I'm hoping it actually does. I'd rather that than Fluttermane. 100% rather that than Fluttermane. Fluttermane's just too much of a problem. It really is. And they're going to go into Fluttermane here. The Fluttermane flies here. Uh, do I Quick Attack or do I go Behemoth Blade? I think I just go Sucker Punch here and I play it safe. Sucker Punch and I just go Behemoth Blade. Actually, I could just protect you. Yeah, I'd rather just protect Zacian. But if they're going to go after anybody, it's going to be Zassy. It's going to be Zassy. So we're going to see the Terra pop out from Fluttermane here. It's going to go Fairy. It's looking to do some big time damage onto us. And I still have my Lando in the back end, which is big time news for us. The Helping Hand's going to come out here. So Sucker Punch is just going to get neutralized. That's real tough for us. And I couldn't move because I'm paralyzed. Come on, man. Come on. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Dacian Gleam now flies. Oh, no. Dacian survives. Dacian bulks that all day. But still. Come on, man. That really hurt. Shen Pao gone. Helping hand. Was not expecting that from Iron Bundle. Now I get to bring out you. I do still have Terra, which is nice. I do still have Terra, so honestly, honestly, your best bet would just be to go into. Actually, no, I don't have Terra, but we should just go Sludge Bomb here and quick attack into this thing, KO that. See how this plays, because we might be able to eat up another Dash and Gleam like that, which could be big. Rare use our Terra on our Shen Pao, but I just need Zacian for like one more turn with quick attack. Be so massive, but that Paralyze really hurt, man. It really hurt. Then I'd be at a, if if I was at like 100 HP right now, it'd be even better. But I believe Lando should soak this because you're not booster energy. Fluttermane is just gonna end up protecting, which is solid. He doesn't know I have quick attack though. He does not know I have quick attack. So quick attack comes through here. Now my ride on is on like one HP. 
and a quick attack can KO that. Sludge Bomb gonna fly. It's gonna get blocked. Quick attack should KO. Let me ride him. So one Sludge Bomb from my boy right here will KO. We gotta hope no Paralyze comes out here. There's Miraidon. Miraidon on the field, ready to go. With this Hadron engine. So here we're going for another Sludge Bomb. We're just gonna stick with our Quick Attack into this Miraidon slot. And we're looking to win, no Paralyzes. We got fingers crossed for no Paralyzes. Come on, Zassian. You're live right now. This is going to the Jeans community and you gotta showcase out here. Quick Attack flying, bye bye. Big time play, Zassian. Now all that I need is Lando to be able to eat up. Unless you're going for Moonblast. You go for Thunder. Okay, never mind. We win. Thank you. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Beautiful Sludge Bomb with Sheer Force Life Orb. Should be able to finish this off, no problem. Super effective. Get it on out of here. So, solid second match. Zacian being a top dog, taking out a Maridon squad in match number two. Moving on to match number three, our final match for today's video. Going up against another Miraidon team. Zacian. Just stomped on it in the last match, so hopefully we can do it again here. Going up against Azumarill alongside with Gengar, really dope Pokemon. They got Alola Ninetales, Suicune, and Cresselia too, so pretty strong team. Pretty strong team, they could set weather, I might just end up leading Zacian and Shen Pao. I think that's a solid lead for us, or I can take a bit more speed control here. And really start to get after it with Ice Spinner. That could be good, but I like Zacian and I like Shen Pao here, so I think that's going to be my lead, just those two cooking out here um in the back end who could be good gouging fire could be pretty solid lando could be pretty solid huh who do i want who do i want i definitely want i'm thinking gouging fire here and i don't know if i want speed control with you or if i want to go more attacking with overpon and flame that's the question do i go tornadas i mean tornadas could be good i mean speed control could be nice they could end up leading Cresselia. you know what we're just gonna go in with an extra attacker and we're gonna end up bringing lando here i just think lando is gonna be way better than Ogre Pond. Considering Ninetales could learn Freeze Dry, you ride on. Obviously, as Bolt Switch, its signature move. What is the signature move again? I just used it. I just used it. I can't think of it. It's uh, ba -ba -ba bam. I don't know. I forget it. But it hits hard. It's base 100. It hits like an absolute truck. We don't want. We don't want to see it. I hopefully we don't see it. But they end up going Gengar alongside with Crest, so they could pop a Trick Room. They could pop a Trick Room. Chance our Gengar is going to be Sash, which is eh. That's okay. Um, put Terra flying. I could go into Behemoth Blade here, and I am just going to end up ripping a Behemoth Blade into Press or Gengar. I might double down the Crest to be honest with you. I go double down the Crest, doubling right down the Crest. So Crest gonna take some damage here. Pretty bulky. It's probably gonna survive this, which is a little bit of an issue. Behemoth Blade going to do how much damage? It's KO and let's go, Zacian. Let's go. Big time damage from Zacian. Crest is so bulky, so that damage was huge. Shadow Ball is going to fly into this slot. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It could be Sash. I could double down into you. Um, I could go Sucker Punch and Quick Attack into Gengar next turn. Let's see what they do. I could see Miraidon popping out here, which is big time threat for us. Big time threat for us. It's gonna be Azumarill. I don't, I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind Azumarill because I can just do Behemoth Blade in that slot. But I might just double down into Gengar here. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double down into Gengar. I'm going to double down into Gengar because I believe Azumarill probably going after Shen Pao with a like play rough. So then, okay, never mind. You just, you just die to that. Okay, cool. No focus sash. Awesome. Okay, that works even better, because now Behemoth Blade slides over. Dude, these casual matches, we've been killing them in. We've been killing it, but Zassian just hit too hard right now. Behemoth Blade flying again. Bop. See you later. Get it on out of here. And third and final match is going to be a cakewalk for us. Absolute cakewalk. The cakiest of cakewalks. Beautiful. Beautiful. Sweet King's going to fly out here for the final Pokemon. And this one's going to be a sweep. We're just going to go for a Behemoth Blade and Sacred Sword or Sucker Punch. Let's just go for Sucker Punch. Make things e easy. Actually, play rough. I forgot. Just straight water. So, Sucker Punch. Into play rough for the win. Oh my god, this was just... This was so easy! There you go, guys. 3-0 again on the casual ladder. We are just thriving out here with these brand new Regulation G Pokemon. 
There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Another 3-0 perfect record. Rocking out with Zacian today, pairing it up with Chen Pao and doing an insane amount of damage. Behemoth Wade, its signature move, hitting like a truck. On top of that, it gets that stab boost. Amazing. Big time damage all around. But if you guys want to send me Regulation G teams, make sure you guys do so over on my Twitter. Link is down in the description below. Send me a DM over there. If you don't have Twitter, leave your team in the comment section down below. I love to get my hands on as many Regulation G teams as I can. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that bigger subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.